Hey guys, Ant here from JWA Drone, so welcome back to the channel. So today we're having a look through at testing the Cree Strobe On standalone strobes for your DJI Mini 2. Let's check it out. Okay, so I've been looking into strobe lights for quite a while for my drone. Now, I've not been a big fan because I'm a little bit anal about it and I don't really want it to look a bit tatty. It doesn't look the smartest with the lights on, but to be fair, to try and get visual line of sight during the day, especially at night, it's almost impossible to go further than 30 meters and you've lost the drone. Now, every time I keep looking at these, I keep coming back to the Cree standalone drobes. Now, every time I look at these, I keep thinking, oh, no, they're a little bit pricey. I don't know if I want to spend that much on a couple of strobes. How much am I going to use them? But I bit the bullet and I bought some strobes and here they are. So the strobes I went for are the standalone white strobes, which I'll include a link to in the description below. When I opened the box, I couldn't believe how small they were. If I'm being honest, they don't look too pretty when they're on the drone, but I guess that's not really the point. The first thing I wanted to check was if the 4 gram stated weight was actually correct and I was still legal to fly under the CO class. I'll be going over the laws we have to follow with these drones in a future video, so make sure you turn on notifications so you don't miss out. Now Strobon state that these actual strobes are 4 grams each, so I've gone through and I've weighed them, um, and actually they come under just under 4 grams. So when I went through it with the drone with the battery, with the SD card, everything on the drone as it would be flying, and then put the actual strobes on as well it came out a total 246 grams so for me that leaving plenty there if i wanted to go and put a skin on the drone anything like that then i know that i've got plenty in the buffer so i've been doing a lot of night flying of late and i'm really struggling to actually get any kind of distance to try and stay within the rules of visual line of sight now using the built-in light on the dji mini 2 realistically after about 30 meters in pitch black you're not going to see the drone anymore um, and I am trying to stick to the rules so these strobes are hopefully going to transform my night flying for me. Now I always fly at a height around about 100 meters especially at night because then I know I'm not going to knock into anything um, but again so when you're using the built-in light at 100 meters it's really really hard to see let alone when you start to get 30, 40, 50 a kilometer away. So I'm going to be checking these results a bit later on in the video. We'll take the drone out with no strobes on at all and we'll see how far it gets at night realistically about 30 40 meters i reckon i don't think i'm going to get much further than that at this time of night um, and then what we do is we're going to turn the strobes on and do the exact same check i've got some binoculars ready i've got a spotter for me so we can keep that visual line of sight and i'm hoping for at least i don't know what one two kilometers to be fair um, maybe i'm being being a bit optimistic with that but you know we've got to try haven't we so when it came to fitting the flytron's design needs to go on the back legs of the drone under the motors they're a little awkward to get spot on, but they do fit with the legs folded back in and the Velcro pads are really easy to remove. So I first looked at having these, maybe one of these on the front, maybe one of them on the back, but I just couldn't get it to look half decent. And I was really worried about the antennas on the front of the drone. I didn't want to block any of the signal because I'm really interested in getting the range out of this drone. So I've gone with putting these both onto the back legs of the drone itself. Now I was a little bit concerned that maybe it's going to unstable it. So we're going to find that out when we actually take it out for a flight, but they're only four grams, it shouldn't be too much of an issue I wouldn't have thought with this drone. Now, these were supplied to me by Flytron and like I said, a little bit later in the video, I've got a little treat for you from these guys. Um, really, really good company and if you're after anything drone related, check them out. Now, to use these strobes, it's really, really simple. So you just charge them using the standard micro USB cable and a phone charger. And if you're out and about, you can go through and use your battery bank that comes with the drone. Just use the adapter cable that came with your Flymore kit plug it into the side of the USB and away you go and you can charge these drones up. Now Flytron do state that these will fly for two hours plus, so I mean realistically if you've got the standard fly more kit, you're plenty covered, all right? So I mean charging wise, it took about two and a half hours to charge these this morning. Um, and again, realistically, I'm gonna get two days worth of flying out of them depending on how much night flying you're doing. Now I do get that you can use these during the day as well, so I will be going through and testing that as well. But I'm not overly concerned about visual line of sight during the day. I can see quite clearly. I'm not going too fast. It's not really an issue. Um, but at night time, it's really, really hard. With that standard light on the drone, it's really hard to be able to pick it out from the stars or from the clouds, whatever you're flying through. So to turn these on, you actually just press and hold the power button on top of the drones. Now, I do warn you guys, these are really, really bright. So if you're looking straight at them, you are going to see stars for a little while. I was seeing stars for about 20 minutes after I turned these on this morning. But realistically, just press and hold for a couple of seconds. They'll start flashing. 
and away you go, as simple as that. So I think the only thing to do really is now to get out and fly this drone. Okay, so we're out in the usual flying spot. So the first thing we're gonna try and do is we're gonna fly down just with a standard light on. I've got my spotter with me as well. So we've got a pair of binoculars just in case we do get lost so we can bring the drone back. We'll see how far it gets and then we'll come back in, swap the battery out and we'll try it with the strobe lights and see how far we get. Let's go. So we're gonna head up to 100 meters. That way we know we're not gonna knock into anything. We bring it up to 100 and then we're just gonna send it straight down the river. It's a little bit windy today as well, but we have got a headwind on the way back, so we should be okay. So there's 100 and away we go. lost it at 480. Let me just recheck. I can just got that light. I can't see it, but I can only see it when it flashes, but then it's... I've lost it, I think. Hey, can you see it? Nope. Okay, 480 then. So we've got 480 meters on the standard light on its own. So, oh, actually I've just spotted it now. I've lost I'm gonna try and push forward a little bit more. I've just seen it. I saw that. You got that, yeah? Okay, I've got I'm long. I'm gone. Can you still see it? Just waiting for any sort of flash. No. Okay, I've lost it. But in fairness, 553 five, meters. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna to return to home. We're gonna land it, put a fresh battery in, and what are we at? So we're at half half a kilometer. Let's see how much further we get with the strobe lights on. So we've got it back, 558 meters on the standard light. So let's try it with the strobe lights. Okay, so we've got the strobes fitted. Let's send it up. And what are we going to go for? At least another kilometre. It's got to be worth another kilometre distance. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so exactly the same. We're going to go up to 100 metres, go the exact same course. We'll see how we get on. Okay, so 200, nice and clear, head of a difference. And there's the 400. So I mean, around this point of the first test, we were starting to lose visual line of sight. So there we go, three kilometers, but the signals, I mean, I think it's gonna to return to home in a minute if we keep losing the signal. But I can still see it. So I'm gonna to have to go to the map now because I've lost video feed. Okay, so we got well over the 3K and the only reason we had to bring it back home was purely because of the signal breakup on the remote. So I think these are a win. Now earlier I promised you guys a little treat courtesy of Flytron, so I've teamed up with them and I've managed to secure us a 15% discount code. All you need to do is head onto the website, pick your strobes and enter the code JWA Drones into the discount box at checkout. Now if you found this video useful guys then please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Like I said earlier it really does go a long way into supporting the channel. If you don't want to subscribe that's absolutely fine but please feel free and just leave some comments in the box or tick the like button if you like the video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.